What's up, everybody? Jason here for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. 2022 Panini Chronicles Draft Picks Football 4 Box Break. Pikachu's number 6 just sold out. But we're also giving away a free box giveaway, guys. If you buy two or more teams, so you buy two teams, you get one entry into that giveaway. You buy four teams, you get two entries. Six teams, you get your three entries. Just please note, guys, there still hasn't been a checklist released officially from Panini on any of the major websites like Cardboard Connection or Group Break Checklist as well. It hasn't done their checklist for this. So... We technically don't know if all teams will be represented. We do feel like they should be, but just some teams may only have autographs while others only have numbered cards, inserts, or rookies. So just remember, that's the risk you guys are taking. But we are still selling these teams uh, straight up um, as little as $10.99 uh, because we're doing a little promo, right? By two teams, it gets you an entry into the box giveaway. So, you know, even if potentially some of those $10, $20 teams don't have a potential big hit, uh, you still have an opportunity to uh, win some money. Uh, by grabbing two or more teams, which I feel like most people usually do. Remember, all cards ship, and again, we go by current team if they're active, team they play for the longest if they're retired. So we're using this Wikipedia right here to go through the teams that were drafted, all the players that were drafted. There are a handful of players that weren't drafted um, that will be going to the teams that they're currently signed to as a free agent, undrafted free agent. So uh, for the most part, we haven't really seen so many oddball names um, that I haven't seen before in the first couple picker teams. Also, guys... Uh, five, six, seven, eight are from a fresh case, but number five is tied into a pack filler. So technically that can't break into the pack filler does, but number six, seven, eight can technically break. And that's what we did. So number five is still going to be part of this case. It's just going to be at some point later in the week. Uh, but we can do number six now. Of course I did sold out. Seven is also in single digits and then eight, eight is like 15 or 16 spots away. So. Like I said, they're still going to all give me use from the same case, except the first break of the case is not going to be number five. It's going to be this one here. So, here you go, guys. So, there's four stacks here, four boxes. There. See if we can generate one of these ones. So, one, two, three, four. If I roll a five or a six, we'll just re-roll it again. Nope. 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 Why do they keep on rolling sixes? Wow, that's like three sixes in a row. Four. One, two, three, four. So we use that one over here for this one. That one there. And then these three here will be used for the next picker teams. I'm going to mark them all so that way you guys know they're from the same case. And I'll put these away now. All right, guys, here we go. Here we go. First one is Drake London. A little relic there for USC, which of course was a top 10 pick, I believe. Uh, Drake. London's Atlanta Falcons. 
getting used to the sheet instead of using Wikipedia. Some big targets there for my boy Mariota. I like it. ETL going to Brody. Saquon Barkley, of course, that's going to go to the Giants. Zach Wilson base. He's been at least one redemption per box. Gold Zamir White to 10. Gold. Vegas Raiders for Zamir White. And Brian Robinson Jr. to 25. In the zone. Auto zone. And that's Washington Commanders. What should we go to Diego? Gary Wilson from Ohio State. Uh, Raiders. Yes, bro. Do you do? Brian Cook. Uh, Brian Cook. Kansas City Chiefs. All right, redemption. Bam. Derek Stingley Jr. in the zone. Auto zone. Which I believe is a Houston Texan, right? Yep, third overall. Justin with the Texans. All right, I think I said it's, uh, here White was uh, Raiders, I think. What did I say? Yeah, it was a mirror White. Sorry. Las Vegas. All right, here we go. Next one. Aiden Hutchinson, that's for Detroit. Going to Steve. Whoa! Isaiah, or yeah, Isaiah Spiller, that's a Nebula, one of one. How about that? Very nice. That is Los Angeles Chargers. LAC, that's going to Jason. Look at that. JC. Uno de uno.
this guy more. And Justin Ross. Which I believe he was not drafted, but we did look him up last time. I forget the team he was part of. Kansas City Chiefs. Kansas City Chiefs. KC. Brody. That's right, Brody. I forget. You know all your Clemson boys. Kyle Hamilton. Number 299. Which I believe Kyle Hamilton is a Baltimore Raven. She's going to Jason as well. Zamir White. Which I think I just looked this dude up earlier, right? Las Vegas. Another one there for the Raiders and Brody. We have a Jake Plummer. And Zarek Cooper. I don't think he was drafted. Looks like he actually is not drafted yet. Was not drafted, sorry. So he's going to be undrafted, unsigned, it looks like. I don't see him affiliated with any team. Yeah, so this will be going to the non-NFL. And again, we'll, we'll give out uh, all those non-NFL team hits in one lot. Who's a former Clemson quarterback that was redshirted and then transferred, it looks like. All right, Coolio, two boxes down, two more boxes to go. Yeah, I would bet, right? I mean, it's kind of tough to be back up those guys. Or to be uh, competing with those guys, sorry. Isaiah Spiller, which again is going to the Chargers. Yeah, I mean, think about it. I, I used to talk about this all the time, but the year Mariota had a red shirt, Mariota... Uh, David Ojabo had a 10 gold, very nice. Mariota and Johnny Manziel were both at Oregon at the time uh, in 20, what, 2012, 2011. And a lot of people say that Johnny Manziel knew that he wasn't going to beat on Mariota, so that's why he transferred to Texas A&M. I mean, it worked out good for him, though, right? I mean, he won a, he won a Heisman, but 
not a good NFL career at all, but it's crazy how sometimes, yeah, these guys never really get opportunities and have to venture out somewhere. All right, and then Ojabo, he's the one that fell a little bit, right? Yeah, second round pick for the Ravens. Very nice one out of 10 right there. Carson Strong to 15, which I believe, I don't think the Eagles drafted him, but I think uh, he was an undrafted free agent by the Eagles. I could be wrong though, let me see. Yeah. Carson Strong is an eagle. Well, I mean, do you blame the guy, Brody? Would he have been better than Trevor Lawrence and Deshaun Watson at Clemson, though? I mean, that's the one thing. You definitely do have to believe in yourself for sure, but... It's like... Those... I just think that... I just think... For college, right? I mean, they, they recruit quarterbacks like crazy right I mean because obviously you still have to have backups on backups but my thing is that like how many of them actually are going to get a chance to actually be a starter is the question you know and who knows maybe for him he's like dude I can't beat out Deshaun Watson he's already the established starter and Trevor Lawrence is the guy next up you know there's no way I'm going to beat out those guys so I got to go somewhere else to get my opportunity you know because it's all about showcasing your talents and if you never got the opportunity then why stay there you know Kobe Bryant, which I don't think was drafted. But is a cornerback for the Seahawks. But then you find those quarterbacks in the rough. I mean, think about it. Mariota, I think, was like a two-star recruit. Olave. And then Justin Herbert, I don't even think, was recruited to like his last like few months or last year of college to go to Oregon. And he was in their backyard, imagine. Like, sometimes these guys obviously just need to be seen and given an opportunity. Like, it's crazy. Mar uh, uh, Justin Herbert has transitioned much faster, much easier to the NFL compared to Mariota did at the time. Although, granted, Mariota, like I always say, had to defend that guy. He had like four offensive coordinators and coaches in his first five years. But, um, you know, it's just some people transition quicker. But just imagine that Oregon, like, you know, this guy was in his backyard this whole time and they didn't give him a college, like, offer at all until, like, pretty much months ahead of time. Chris Olave, Saints. Matt Corral, Miles Garrett, and we got Malik Willis, and that's Tennessee Titans, to 49, Tennessee Titans going to Brody. Oh, I'm sorry, Jim. Your comment got lost in the in the chat because you guys both have the the brown the or uh, purple color emoji. But uh, I'm sorry, man. Hey, there can still be more, man. Don't worry. I've learned that from this whole 12 box case break. There's a lot of repeat hits. Oh yeah, for sure. There's also players that like 
you know, Clay Matthews at the time. I, I mean, I think eventually he could be a Hall of Famer, but like, Clay Matthews at USC wasn't really a starter and really didn't play as much as like, you know, Malaluga, Cushing, and all those other guys at the time. But he transitioned very well to the NFL. And some people like aren't as good in the, in, in college, but transitioned very well to the NFL. And some people that were just complete studs in, in college don't transition. But, I don't know. I wouldn't consider myself as a, a failure if I was, like, a college athlete stud. Because at the same time, man, just to even get to the college level is just an accomplishment on your own. You know, to compete at a high level like that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I think a lot of us like to call them bust and bums, but, man. Out of ten, nice pass, though, Damian Pierce. I don't think Pierce was a draft pick, but let me double check. No, oh yeah, he was. Fourth round pick out of Florida for Houston. Mac Jones to 99. Kenneth Walker. Kyle Hamilton to 99. Khalil Shakir which is a fifth round wide receiver out of Boise State for the Buffalo Bills Bills is going to Diego Buffalo, Buffalo. Gary Wilson. He was also an Oregon uh, five-star recruit, and then backed out and went to Ohio State. Worked out good for him, though. Zamir White. We had a Chris Johnson at 149. And Jack Jones to 149. Let's look up Jones. Jack Jones, Patriots. Zamir White is Raiders. Alrighty, guys, and there you go. A lot of nice hits. No bigger quarterbacks, per se. Uh, but we did get some nice one-on-ones and some nice goals, like that Ajabo right there. And that one-on-one spiller, which was really nice. Alright. Derek Stidling was a really nice redemption. But uh, like I said, still a lot of big hits hiding in the rest of the boxes from the case. Number 7 and 8 can be ripped without having to worry about the filler. Number 5 is tied into the filler. And then we did get one autograph that was a non-NFL team. So of course if there is any non-NFL teams in here or the base cards will be randomized in one lot. 
to one customer in this break. So we're gonna have a little randomizer for that as well. So let's see. So first of all, let's uh, switch this up. And let's see here, Brody got 11, so just one short of getting six entries, but he got five. Diego with two. Eddie with two. Manny with two. And then we got Jason with six, so that's three entries. Jerry with just one, or Jeremy with just one. Jerry with two. Justin with just one, but he hit nicely. Ken with just one, Chris with one, Steve with one, Travis one, Victor one. Whoa, wow, we're really good odds, guys. Instead of one in 16, it's one in 12. All right, so there's your guys' names there. Now the next randomizer is gonna be for the non-NFL teams. Whatever team is at number one gets that lot. So everybody have a shot at that. Roll it. One and a two, three times, good luck. Name number one gets a free box. One, two, three. Boom, three times, three times, Diego at the top. There you go, congratulations. All right, there you go. Now three times here, team number one gets the autograph that's not NFL plus any non-numbered or any non-NFL team lots. One, two, three. Detroit Lions, which is Steve. Non NFL players. So you're going to get that lot, including the non NFL. So appreciate it, guys. Jaspiescasebreaks.com.